our channel. Today we're going to talk about homeschooling in a remote area and how it impacted our lives. Contrary to popular belief, homeschooling in a remote area does not mean isolation. We'll discuss finding our homeschooling community and the benefits of living in a remote area and homeschooling and some things that you might want to consider if you're planning to move to a remote area. Living in a remote area can be isolating. However, for us that really hasn't been our experience. We were quite surprised to actually find a lot more families up here that do home educate home school. And in fact, we have more opportunities to connect with home educating families than I feel like we had back in England. Time always seemed to be quite precious in England. We were going from one group to another. It felt like filling time and then we didn't have the time for the people we really wanted time for. Moving to an area without home ed specific activities seemed really daunting but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise for us. So during lockdowns where all of our groups stopped we found a completely different way of homeschooling and it was something that we really thrived in. Before that we were from going from group to group, lessons to lessons and filled so much time that we never really had the time to be, the never had the time to really dig deep into passions. We were too busy going here, there and everywhere. So when lockdowns took away all the groups that we were doing, we realised that this was, the, this was the way we wanted to live our lives, a lot slower paced. It made us reconsider our priorities and strive for a slower pace of life and a slower pace of home educating. One of the main differences between home educating in rural areas and remote areas in Scotland to England is the nature focused learning opportunities there are here is incredible. Instead of relying on organised activities, we spend our time exploring nature, historical sites and immersing ourselves in the beauty of the surroundings that we live. This nature based approach has enriched our children's learning experience dramatically. Living in a remote area doesn't mean we're isolating ourselves completely. We interact with our local community, we're out in the community socialising with friends, meeting people of all walks of life. We meet lots of people that are travelling through the Scottish Highlands. We, we've heard so many amazing life stories from the people that we've met. It's been really enriching for not just my children, but for me as well. We've learned so much just from the people around us. And that's the sort of life we really wanted for our children. The best bit of advice I can give people that are considering moving somewhere remote and they homeschool or plan to homeschool is to use the um, technology. Social media and Facebook itself is really good for finding out how the home educating scene looks in the areas that you're considering moving to. You can interact and connect with people already in that area and, and find out their honest opinions of home educating in that area and you know whether there are activities organized specific for home ed or if there isn't and if that's something that you would miss then you would know you know to look further and closer to the city and things like that so it's it's definitely something you, you need to research and know exactly what you need your children need and what you as a family need from your your home education journey and if that includes lots of activities and clubs then remote living potentially isn't for you if you don't like being outdoors and you know, hiking and camping and, and all the things that the great outdoors provides then again I would suggest moving closer to the city to potentially have the best of both worlds so it really is a case of like anything you do need to research and Find what works for your family and it won't be the same as everyone else's, it won't be the same as ours and that's okay. Your journey will look like yours and mine will look like and ours will look like ours. So I hope this video has answered some questions. I do get a lot of DMs on Instagram so follow me over there if you're not because I post quite regularly in real time and I have a lot of people I'm chatting to that are wanting to thinking about moving up here and I'm always honest with people about the expectations because it is very different in the case of you you will 
you know, if you move to a remote area, there are less families home educating, and it might take you a little bit longer to find your people. However, again, that hasn't been our experience. We have been very lucky and fortunate to find, you know, a good four or five families that we meet, meet up with regularly and, you know, like-minded and it, it, it all works really well. So I think if you're called to and somewhere remote is where you're meant to be, then I do think things will work out, but I do think you need to research things and figure out what's going to work for you and your family and your homeschooling journey. So thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe and comment down below because I love chatting to people. Have you got any other questions I haven't answered? Uh, do you live and homeschool in a remote area? Are you thinking about moving to somewhere more remote and have questions about homeschool. Thank you for watching and I will speak to you soon.